Hey YouTubers, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of Coral Friday, I picked up a really nice specimen for you guys. Um, this one's right out of Australia. As soon as I seen it at my local fish store, I had to pick it up. Um, the name of this one is the Australian uh, Meter Shower Coral. It's got some really beautiful colors. Um, it's got really like deep eyes in it. They're green with a nice purple. You guys really have to see it. It's really, really nice coral. Um, it's a little bit more expensive as right out of Australia. If everybody knows, corals from Australia are really bright in colors. Very beautiful to have. They're a little bit more pricier, but sometimes it's worth that little extra money and get yourself a really nice piece. This piece is about probably about six inches around. It was really, I had to pick it up as soon as I seen it. I wanted to show you guys. So like this coral here, I got it actually, I got it uh, activating right here behind me. It's been activating for a while now to get the temperature, get the salinity all the same right from the store. So I'm just letting it acclimate there right now. So um, with this coral, it doesn't like really bright lights. So I'm going to try to place it in an area where it's not so bright and they like it more to the, uh, the bottom of the tank because like I have radions Sometimes uh, the new corals, it'll, like, it'll bleach them, it'll burn them because the intensity is so high. So I want to start keeping down at the bottom more area. But on today's episode, I'm planning on putting it on my cliff here. I got a nice spot in the rock here where it's a little bit of uh, light. You know, it's got some good light, but it's got shadows. So it can grow wherever it wants to on this cliff. And I think it's got a lot of area there and it can spread. So that'd be really nice in that area. So, and it likes moderate flow and not too much light and the intensity with the radions or anybody's light, you want to make sure you acclimate those corals. You don't want to bleach them or burn them out. So that's my plan today. So we're going to get this uh, Australian uh, meter shower coral out of the bag. Um, I'm going to make sure we're going to use, uh, we're going to use the, revive, the Revive dip here. Make sure we don't have to put no pests in our main display tank. Uh, you guys know I always use the Revive uh, by Three Little Fishes from uh, Julian Sprung. It's really good stuff. And today too, I'm going to try I'm going to try the new new glue today. I'm not going to use the Ecotech glue today. I'm going to use the, the Cora Fix. It's by uh, Three Little Fishy as well, uh, Julian Sprung's company. Um, I've used it before. It's really good. Really good. Um, this bottle is uh, two ounces. I got it for $12. Um, it just has a screw off top and just a nice uh, tubular for uh, the application. So that's the plan today, guys. I'm going to show you where I'm going to place it. and. Uh, so you check it out, it's really sweet coral. I'm gonna give it some uh, close up pictures of what it looks like so you can really see the color of it because I know it's hard to see in the tank sometimes. So let's take it downstairs, we'll give it the revive dip, make sure we get no pests on there, and then we put it in the display tank. We can turn the blues down and check it out, see how it's gonna look, guys. All right, so let's check. All right, guys, so I just got out of the lab. So I got the, the specimen right here. Um, I just put in the revive dip to make sure we had no pests on it. Always make sure to dip your corals, you know, and get the pests in your tank. So I just wanted to show you guys up close and personal before I end up. Uh, gluing it in the tank. So here it is guys. See that? See the deep eyes on that? So that's the Australian uh, Meteor Shower uh, Favia deep eyed coral. Can't wait to put that in the tank. I just want to show you guys up close to purple. See the green and the deep eyes there and then the purple. It's really nice. And it's about six inches you guys can see with my hand here. So I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to get that glued in the tank and we'll show you guys what it looks like after it's done. All right, guys, so I got the colony, uh, I got it mounted right now. I mounted it right here on the cliff. It's got light and it's got shadow, so it's not in direct light and it's got some good flow. So I'm gonna bring you guys in close so you guys can check out the, the meteor shower uh, coral here and uh, I end up using the glue. So this is the glue I use, guys, really, it's really good stuff. So let's check it out and I'll bring you guys in close and we'll start turning the, we'll start turning the radions down, get them down to the blues and see if we make those colors pop and show you guys. All right, All right guys, so the meteor shower corals right there. So right now I'm just going to start turning my uh, radions down and then you guys should be able to see a little bit of the green pop and then I'll bring you guys in really close to check it out. So let's let's turn down our reds. We're turning down our reds uh, to zero. Turn down our greens. All right, we're changing. We'll turn down our uh, cool whites. So there we go. So now we just got, uh, all I do have is royal blues and blues on right now with a UV filter. So you guys can see the different colors going on right now. Um, I should have a filter for you guys to see a lot better, but right now so that the coral is right here you guys can probably see a little bit of the yellow pop in there right now in the green so I'm gonna bring you guys in close and we'll check it out guys we'll just leave a little drop the blues down a little more here
Guys, so there's the coral that I mounted right now. You guys can see the, like how bright the greens are. So this is the Australian meteor shower favia coral. It's pretty amazing colors. I can't wait for that to encrust all over this rock. So that's it. I got just it's under a little bit of light. It's in the shade. It's got a lot of real estate here that it can really move around, and I hope it encrusts this whole rock. So let's start. I got the radions here. I got the reef link open. So let's let's go up close here. We'll start dropping her down. So we got our reds on 100%. We'll drop them to zero. And we're gonna take our greens. So we're gonna drop them down. So we're starting to brighten up. So we're going to take our cool whites. We'll start lowering our cool whites, guys. So there you go. So you're starting to see it pop. If I had a filter, it'd probably pop even more. So let's drop our cool whites a little more at 20, 15%. Let's take them right down to zero. So now it's popping a little more. It's really awesome. Okay, let's take our blues and we'll start lowering them a little bit. Let's drill them. So now we're down 35%. 35. Drop our blue right down to zero. We'll take our royal blue, we'll drop our lower blue to 50%. So if I had a filter, this would definitely show up even brighter, but you guys can get the idea of like what the coral is, is looking like right now. So let's slowly drop that down. We're 35% royal blue, 32, 25, 20, 16, 12, 11, 10, 7. So now we're in the 7%, and we got our UV at 100. We'll drop our UV a little bit. Let's bring our blue back up. We're at 50, 45, 46, 51, 100%. So let's bring her slow. Let's bring our blues back up. Blues are back at 100. Our cool whites are coming back up again, guys. 100% cool. Greens, bring our greens back up. And our reds. So there we go, guys. All right, guys, so I hope you guys like that uh, that specimen, the Meteor Shower uh, Fabia. It's really awesome, you know, Australian piece, really bright colors. I think it's a great addition to the tank. I can't wait for it to encrust. Just gotta make sure you know I keep all my elements in check. Magnesium, calcium, alkalinity, uh, pH. So make sure everything's good to go and hopefully it'll take off really and crust around that rock. So I hope you guys uh, tune in next Friday for the next episode, uh, episode 10. Uh, if you guys can leave your comments below, any corals you guys wanna see or any you know fish invertebrates, just hit me up and I'll see if I can get that. And uh, we'll put it in the display tank and we'll go from there and uh, see what we get. So tune in next Friday. You never know what kind of treasure I'm gonna find, guys. Uh, please subscribe, hit the like button. And uh, if you guys wanna join uh, Farm Boy Reef uh, Club on Facebook, a lot of great guys on there. Um, we're almost at a 2,000 members, it's growing fast, so it's a great place, a good community to get information on anything you, you need to know or you're learning or just getting the hobby, you need some, uh, some advice. So, you know, please hit us up there. We'd be more than happy to have you guys come over to the family. It's a great place to, to hang out. So, you know, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.